So, you want to build a Hackintosh. Is it worth it? Absolutely yes. Now, is it trouble free? Not even slightly. The positive is, you're building a computer with incredible specs at a fraction of the cost of a new Mac with components that are from this year. The negative side is that you're going to be spending a lot of time looking like this. Now it's not nearly as bad as people made it sound, but you're going to need to be able to devote like two to five days to be able to build this thing. So, so let's use my Hackintosh for an example. Now this Hackintosh was around $800 and it has better specs than the highest configuration of the iMac on Apple's website. Here are the specs of my computer compared to the newest iMac. So with a little bit of eBay searching, I was able to get everything at a pretty good price. Now granted, I don't have a graphics card and I don't really have a great screen. But let me just say that the iMac is one of the best deals on Apple's website. They overprice a lot of things, but the iMac has some pretty decent specs and it comes with a monitor that's at least worth a grand and everything's kind of self-contained. It's a great machine. So if you want a computer that's always going to work and you want everything included, nicely packed and something that's going to look really nice, you know, I would recommend getting a Mac. But if you want something you can tinker with and something that you can harness the powers of the universe with, I would recommend building a Hackintosh. My experience with this computer so far has been great, so let me tell you about the good news first. The good news is I can export songs and movies in about a tenth of the time it took me before on my old MacBook Pro. And that's another thing to note, if you want some real processing power, do yourself and all of your friends a favor and don't get a laptop. You know, laptops are great if you just need something to carry around with you to look at pictures or something. but. In reality, you're only going to get, you know, you're going to pay so much more for its small form factor that in half the processing power, you know, you, you can't really do anything serious on, on a laptop. Another great benefit of all this processing power for me is that I can monitor my inputs with headphones with zero latency. It's like I can't throw enough tracks at this thing to get it to sweat. You know, I've seen zero system overload errors, so it's been great. I have storage upon storage built into this machine. I got two SSD drives routed in parallel. Some people say that's not a good idea, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, I, have a, I have a terabyte that acts as kind of a backup and some like large file storage. It's also important to note that right now I'm using El Capitan. They just came out with Mac OS Sierra and people have done Hackintosh projects with Sierra, but I don't really trust that and I want something more stable, so I'm sticking with El Capitan for now. Now let's talk about the bad news. The bad news is that you're gonna have a lot of little errors that are gonna drive you crazy. And you're gonna spend a lot of time on this website. The first major issue on most motherboards these days is audio. Audio will become the bane of your existence on a Hackintosh. Audio is hard to get working, but if you do the right installations and take your time and find the correct fix for your motherboard, you can do it. The other bad news is iMessage. If you like using iMessage, you might as well just buy a brand new Mac Pro, fully configured with a brand new monitor. <laughs> because you're not gonna be able to get it to work on your Hackintosh. I have heard legends of many people saying they've gotten it to work, but you know, with the amount of effort that it takes to do that, I don't know if it's worth it. I had mine working for a long time, but now it doesn't work, and there's like one person on there I can send a message to. The other bad news is you're not gonna get any support from Apple on this, which should be pretty obvious, but you know, it's, if you're smart enough to build a Hackintosh, it's not like you're going to need that much technical support. And some of your individual parts might have a warranty on them. One thing I would definitely recommend is that if this is going to be your main machine, you're going to want to get a one terabyte drive from eBay 
they go for around 50 bucks and you can use that to back up your machine right now I just let Time Machine do its thing and I don't have any reason to worry about losing data now you're probably not going to lose anything on the system unless you update or delete your config.plist file or look at your computer the wrong way. 